time of coronavirus can be stressful, can be when you have a sense of depression, loneliness, and this video is a trick that I found, a suggestion of how you can reduce the level of stress and ironically even feel the sense of freedom that you didn't have before, although you locked down in your house and can't get out. What is the trick? The trick called minimalism. Minimalism, minimalism. Let's go up and see how I did it. Those who like me more would say I'm easy going about, you know, domestic stuff and how clean everything and, and, you know, tidy and all that. Those who like me less would say he's just lazy and messy. But what happens with the coronavirus is that I had like a complete transformation. And it starts with my closet. Like, you know, before I can hardly open the door. And now, look at this. Look at this. Just a few of them. And what did I do? I looked at each shirt, for example, and didn't ask, like, is it fit me? Do I like the color? Is it still in great shape? I asked myself, is that shirt really bring me joy? When I put it on, I'm re is, am I really happy? And not only that, when was the last time I actually had it? And magic, magic, magic. So many, I throw like maybe 60, 70% of my entire closet is gone. But what I have now, I know is stuff that I really, really, really like. And so much space, and so much space in the mind. Because minimalism is not about living with less, with fewer and fewer stuff. Minimalism is about finding out what really brings you joy, what really connects to you, what really energizing you. And that sense of space and that sense of that. But now every item is something that I really like. Books was another thing. It was way more difficult because books, I grew up that with books, you never write on them, you never touch them, you know, and you never, ever, ever throw them because book is a part of you, book is a part of your identity. But guess what? The days where the Duke invite the gentleman to meet, to have tea in the library is gone, is over. All I was asking myself is not even if I read the book, not even if I like it at some point because things change. Is there a chance? Is there a chance that I will pick up that book and read it in about a month or a year or two years from now? Is this re re book really connect with me now? And I throw, throw three huge boxes of books. This is what's left. This is what's left now. And this, and I love every one of those books now. Every one is like something connect and this is like close to my bed. So if I want to pick it up, I pick it up. And now it's kind of put order in my in my brain, free space. And that freeing space gives you the sense of freedom. Ironically, the freedom in your house now that every piece, every object is something you like, something that brings you joy, something that energizing you. And this is this is my corona virus trick. It works, it makes wonders for me. And there's tons of, of, of studies of the connection between minimalism and happiness and peace of mind. And this is a great opportunity, this is a great time to practice that, to sort things out, to clean for a fresh start, to reconnect with the stuff you really like and move over everything that is on your way. This is my tip for today. Minimalism, 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 minimalism in coronavirus time. Adios. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo.